There were survivors. They have fled recently, leaving snacks in their wake. They had the right idea. Somebody find the back entrance. Best dirty movie I ever saw. Oh, crap! <laughs> she almost punched him. This door will not hold. We must barricade it. You stay here, pal. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna fuck this dude up. Oh, did he cut his hand off or something? Oh, he got his fucking finger up. Why can't he pick the finger up? Oh, oh, hey guys. <laughs> oh, we, we were just having a little... I see, see. You hear that? No more freaks. Something scared him off? I remember this from the trailer. Fucking battering right in her neck, dude. Head on to be invincible. Every woman for herself. Oh, we splitting up? I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> what is this trickery? <laughs> Drones kaput. Grapples kaput. Back use this darn disruptor on us. Where are you? That's my Your hat. Priority is getting Flash back to the Hall of Justice. That ain't my priority. Come on. Haul your asses to the exit. I will be the one who bests you in combat, Batman. Not Deadshot. Arkham Asylum Intensive Treatment. Oh, it's like the opening of, uh, of Arkham Asylum. That's fucking Killer Croc right there. That's Joker on the thing. That's Batman. That's pretty sick. Is that like explosive gel from the games? Oh, that's... I'm really rocking with... Yeah, that is kind of great. Security transit. I remember we get in the elevator. That guard's dead. Joker Titan infused. Harley Quinn. So it's like, yeah, it's like Arkham Asylum. Victor Zaz. It's like their character models. Oh. Did you see that? Did you see him up there? What the fuck? This is like... Shark! For... I ain't responsible for you if you stand under any gargoyles! This is like the Arkham games, but like from the villain's perspective. I mean, am I supposed to be looking for him? Bats, it'd be healthy for us to just move on from all of this. 
So that right there... Oh, so this is Arkham City. Yeah, because there's Two-Face of Catwoman. Always this haunted house bullshit with the bat. If I didn't... If I didn't shoot that, would it blow up like in the games, I assume? Hey, it's him with Joker's dead body from Arkham City. These all the character models then too. Yeah, Raish is right there, Deadshot. Oh, is that white Deadshot? That's white Deadshot, that's more confusing. Ego Strange. I hear like grappling and shit. Talia, okay. Clayface, Mr. Freeze, Mad Hatter. Arkham City, the best of the Arkham Center. Okay. He just dropped a dead body. I hear his gravel still. <laughs> just keeping you updated. Great. Death from above tangles. Dark so, Knight. It's the Arkham Knight. You. Forget your vendetta with Harley. Oh, did I do something wrong? I thought Shark would take more beating. No, oh, apparently I was supposed to go that way. Now he's fucked me up. Is this tragic irony? I feel like it's tragic irony. Shark, shark is dead bodies right there? Well, not dead. Well, I think not dead. Hey, it's Professor Pig. I'm no snitch, but uh, th this was all Deadshot's idea. I'm basically a hostage. Gonna take more than a locked door to stop me scarpering. Time for us to check the emergency exits. What is that? That's Superman and Batman. He's toying with us. So I'm not supposed to go this way? Okay. So now I need to get to the emergency exits. That got me already. I fall for it again. Uh, hey, spook myself. Right here. Uh, it's bloody locked. If you want we to gotta call, keep looking. Call, Batman. I'm down. This is this a sniper rifle I have? I don't feel like I'd want a sniper rifle. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> Boomerang? Right here, right? Yeah, look at him. He had a bender. Oh, there's a lot of blood. Albert? <laughs> Would I have electrocuted if I had stayed on that? I think I might have been electrocuted if I stayed on that. I heard him. Real close. Bats, you clearly got a lot of new This is my exit. So long. Oh. Feeling real familiar. So it's just Harley left. So we know we're not gonna go that way because that was electrified. The fucking Arkham music swelling right now, dude. Wait, there. Flash. Now. I mean. Find flash. Don't find bats. Amanda, do you want to come figure this out? We're back at like the entrance, I think. W 
What is that? Is that my dude right there? Oh. <laughs> Out of the vent. I am not donating to this museum. Ugh. Green Lantern, I have the Flash. Your four escaped criminals. They led me right to him. No. Not a threat at all. Still. Let their corpses strike fear into those who'd resist. Oh my god. Dude, that's dark as fuck. He's just beating the shit out of him. Oh, he stopped? He's fighting it? Alive. Of course, Brainiac. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's not fighting it? Brainiac told him not to? Oh, that was fucking sick. Okay. That was sick, too, how the Flash stopped him from killing me. evil Batman. He <laughs> murdered a bunch of guys and kidnapped Flash, which I guess is the other bad news. Evil Batman. Batman has also trapped us. I want you back at the Hall of Justice. Go to the other exit and wait for support. While we're out. Welcome to the real Batman experience. I'm Jack Ryder. Jack Ryder? Presenter, investigative journalist, curator of the exhibit. I know all there is to know about Batman's greatest feats. This is not a traumatization. What you're about to experience is based on eyewitness accounts and years of my own research. The Arkham Experience is a dramatization of real-world events for the purposes of entertainment. All events and individuals within this exhibit are professional reenactments by actors. This exhibit is in no way linked to or authorized by Bruce Wayne or any member of the Wayne Estate. <laughs> the disclaimer. Begin at the Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Batman had apprehended Joker like so many times before, but this night, this night was different. The maniac had prepared a trap in the midst of Batman's deadliest foes. Can you smell the excitement in the air? Ha <laughs> ha! No? Must have been one of the guards then! Croc, old boy! Is that you? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Joker spraying nearly every killer in Arkham. <laughs> Don't like to think about it, but uh, at least I made it out. Great night for a party! <laughs> <laughs> Some party. Batman was able to thwart Joker's schemes. But the seeds of evil planted that day would only grow. I was there. I played that game. Gosh, should I play the Arkham games for the channel? That might be a thing. Okay, so we saw all that. Oh, they have little things for all these people. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The super serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. His bones are outside of his skin. Isn't <laughs> that correct? <laughs> Harley? Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. I think the domino mask is a good touch. Serial killer Victor Zaz was let loose on the island. Claiming several more lives that night, marked indelibly on his skin. Did we see that in the game? I don't think we saw Zayas in the game doing all that. The strong man Bane was secretly imprisoned and experimented on in Arkham's depths to create a powerful new strength serum, Titan. I do remember that. We hit him with a car. Good times. Is that, is that all we get from Asylum? 
Because that would be the end. Yeah, we'll go right in the city. Following the fall of the asylum, Gotham Skid Rows were turned into the super prison Arkham City. An urban hell where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know. I was on the ground. And so was Batman. They almost the got only killed. Way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Two face. That's how we get respect. Show them all how we do things. Ah, uh, you know, if you, if you pick the right side and then piss off the boss, <laughs> you were set. At least, uh, still a bad shot up anyway. Bring out the defendant. Oh, they actually got a cat woman thing. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Batman cleaned out Arkham City. Two Face, Penguin, Raish Al Ghul, even the Joker. Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. He A did. Tragic irony. And just goes back to normal at school. A dramatization. Can I get down, like underneath here, to see Calendar Man? Do you have Do you have that down there again? Let's do all the character ones for this. I'll start over here. Solomon Grundy wasn't just a nursery rhyme. Penguin discovered this legendary monster under the Iceberg Lounge and put him to use as rancid undead muscle. Clayface. Basil Carlo, Clayface, worked for Joker, impersonating the criminal mastermind who hid behind the scenes. Quite the performance, and his last. Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter, a real head case, a hypnotist fixated on fantasies. The only thing he sought more than his allies was to control Batman. His Alice. Victor Freeze, this great boss fight. Old scientist would do anything to protect his wife Nora, whether that meant opposing or aiding Batman. Talia Al Ghul, once second in command of the League of Assassins. Sadly, the spark between her and Batman was extinguished at Joker's last stand, along with her life. I wonder, I mean, I'm gonna hit this Deadshot one. I wonder if there's a different voice line that, like, if Deadshot says anything about this guy being white. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. Raish Al Ghul, head of the League of Assassins, was obsessed with making Batman his successor. But Al Ghul underestimated Batman, and it would be his downfall. Dude, the story for Arkham City was so fucking great. How Hugo Strange, like, even though he got, like, betrayed, he still outsmarted everybody. He had a backup plan, Protocol 11 or whatever. Professor Hugo Strange was Blew up the, the tower. man pulling the strings behind Arkham City. Intending to destroy the prison and its inhabitants, he instead died within its walls. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. That is the way to expire in the arms of a superhero. <laughs> How do you switch characters? So if I go to Harley, what does she say about... What does Harley have to say about this? Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. I compartmentalized all this in a box, in another box, in a fridge, in a junkyard. 
So she does have separate things because she was present. So what, what does Deadshot have to say then? Oh, that's not it. Which one was it? Yeah, it's this one. What does Deadshot have to say about the white Deadshot? Deadshot, was this you? Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I am not done with this phony steampunk ass looking dude. Oh, phony steampunk ass looking dude. So this guy, so he's saying he's the real dead shot. But, but I, like, this one, the dead shot I'm controlling right now, his name is Floyd Lawton, but Batman in Arkham City said that was Floyd Lawton. Interesting. I wonder if there's a character, like, uh, more information on this. I'm assuming next we get into Arkham Knight, right? The city's darkest hour was yet to come. Gathering Batman's remaining foes into an unholy alliance, the crazed Scarecrow plunged Gotham into a waking nightmare. Welcome to Gotham, the city of fear. You thought me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged forgotten fears, eventually I returned. My fire crew was trapped. But we owe Batman our lives. He just kept pushing himself past the limit. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city. But at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. That was pretty sick. It's cool how they animated this, like, to look like some kind of, like, dra drama production. Interesting. Sure missed a lot in Gotham while I was out of the game. Ain't sorry about it. Poison Ivy. See, I'm gonna go Harley here. I wanna see what she has to say about Poison Ivy. Why'd you have to sacrifice yourself for the greater good? All red. Firefly. The pyromaniac Garfield Lenz thought he could indulge in the chaos, striking not just Gotham's buildings, but the fire departments protecting them. Well, that's it, huh? The Arkham Knight. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. They gotta put Red Hood in this game, right? Like, I mean, it seems like it's kind of up his alley. Just don't put a bomb in his head or whatever and you'll be alright. As always, Edward Nigma forced Batman to participate in his riddles, even capturing Batman's sometime ally Catwoman as incentive. Laszlo Valentine is one sick individual. One a sick son of a whose bitch. Whose idea of making his patients better was changing them into featureless dolls. All right. Well, let's circle back because I think we missed. We did that section. Do not touch it. Exhibitions. Is there? A is this penguin right here? Arms dealer, gang leader, the sadistic kingpin Oswald Cobblepot, better known as Penguin, flooded lawless Gotham and Blackgate with weapons. Deacon Blackfire? I personally investigated Deacon Blackfire, a cult leader who thought human blood made him immortal. Crazy, of course, but he still tried to sacrifice me. Deathstroke, they gotta put Deathstroke in this game. Slade Wilson, the 
super soldier known as Deathstroke came to Gotham that night leading a whole militia, but his vendetta was with one man, Batman. I think that's... Well, there's this one right here, but I think this is going to be like Wayne Manor blowing up. So, is Two-Face not in here? I don't think they gave Two-Face one, which is interesting. Because he was part of the main stuff. I know they didn't give any of the, uh... Any of the, like, DLC characters, like Mr. Freeze and Killer Croc don't right in here, but... Bruce Wayne's apparent death sent shockwaves through Gotham City. It seemed unbelievable. Impossible. Batman's legacy would live on in many ways including persistent underworld rumors of an even more fearsome vigilante. The Demon Bat. Terror of Gotham's criminals. But let me ask you, would the events you've witnessed not drive any man to a place of darkness? So he, ad he adopted, like, the term Demon Bat? Or like that's well, I'm assuming he didn't call himself the bat. Talk like about an eligible bat chiller. <laughs> that's what I would have said. Shut up, Harley. What is this? What is this one? I I saw this when we were going through the thing. When Batman was hunting us. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned. Drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues. Far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Guess that's why he never visited me in jail. That's not why he didn't visit you, but... So that's what happened to him after... Between the five years, alright. He stopped faking his death, and then... Was like, hey, yo... Lala, we're at the exit. Are you gonna spring up? What the fuck? Ah, shit! It's a ghost! Are the spirits of your ancestors typically digital? <laughs> What's she doing now? Trying to give us the brain spasms? She cracked the lock! Thank you, strange holographic girl. I was gonna pull out the glizzy, but it wouldn't let me. Ghosts are real. You ate a lot of lead paint growing up, didn't you, Boomerang? A lot of lead paint. Yeah. And? Let's get back to the hall before Walla turns our heads to hamburger. The oh, Batman experience. The Batman experience again. Dude, I'll I'll play as I'll play as uh, Deadshot a little bit. Mobilizing. That uh, extra, yeah, like. I love hands-on learning. It's more fun when it's group work. Huh. Follow that green beam. You'll find lanterns set up in some bullshit-ass construct castle. Bullshit-ass <laughs> construct castle. Lantern's fortress is very impressive, but our orders are to return to the Hall of Justice. W what? Brother. Brother. What? I gotta cool the jet. I think my game uh glitched. <laughs> An identity, hey? What's the deal? The deal is, you keep asking, and I'm gonna put these size elevens up your narrow ass. Ooh, that means it's embarrassing, yeah? Lay off, boomerang. A man's backstory is personal, special. Yeah. Thanks, Quinn. And probably involves long lost twins of another race. <laughs> Long lost. So they make several just jokes about it, but they don't. So. 
Something happened. Boost dropping up. I'm not with a message via the Metropolis Emergency. Your bombs are set for limited movement. Go off course, you get a migraine until you return to the AO. Try to go AWOL. It's gonna get a lot worse. Hey, that's lost lane right there. I think I gotta reboot the game, so I guess I'll end this episode here and we'll catch you guys in the next one because this did not go right. But uh, if you if you guys are enjoying and you guys are actually like the story or want to keep hate watching, feel free to uh, keep tuning in. Uh, we'll see you in the next one later.